Why is strategy and communication so important for the finance of international development organisations? Having the right funding mix and being sustainable is, is really important for all international development organisations. And having good strategies, good financial strategies too, help to make this possible. And going along with this is that the ability to be able to communicate about these strategies and about finance generally to stakeholders in a way that they can easily understand. What will participants of the course learn? They'll learn how to manage financial strategies such as sustainability, overheads or core costs and organisational savings sometimes called reserves. They'll also learn how to communicate about financial management with colleagues, non-financial and financial colleagues, and with donors. Who is the course for? It's for all those who want to see organisations or programmes become more effective and have more impact. Directors, managers and people who want to progress to one of those roles, um, for finance people, and for fundraisers, administrators, in fact anyone who needs to talk about finance with stakeholders of the organisation. What makes it valuable to be part of this course? I think the course has a unique combination of things. It has strategy, learning about financial strategy, but also ways of implementing this through um, good communication about strategy with colleagues and with others who are stakeholders within the organisation. On the last day of the course we have a rather special part of one-to-one -one coaching with each individual of the course to try and help them to be able to use the lessons that have been learned when they get back to their own organisation. What research is this course based on? I've been doing research for some time into how to improve the effectiveness of financial management into non-profits, programmes and organisations. And this covers the area of the relationship between finance and non-financial people and how they communicate with each other, partly that, but also about people communicating about finance across national and international cultures that are different. So how does that work and how do we make sure that we are sending a message that has been received as we sent it. So I call this part of the course Anthropology Meets Financial Management. What inspired you to conduct this research? I've been working with people in training and consultancy work um, around the area of financial management for some time and although people often have the knowledge in itself that's quite often not enough. People also need to be able to communicate about finance with other people and particularly finance people need to be able to talk with non-finance people in a way that they can understand and non-finance people often need to talk with donors in a way that they can understand. So the idea of the book was to try and find ways of being able to do this and indeed the course is around some more of the ways that this can be done. Talk a bit about your approach to the workshop. Yes, it's, it's participatory and participants learn largely by doing. Um, the course includes short inputs, it includes games, um, group activities, individual exercises and discussions, plenty of time to ask questions and really we try and reinforce the learning through the, the things that we do during the course. I hope I'll be able to welcome you to one of our communication and strategy for financial management courses in the near future.